So uh, thank you so much for this, and then uh, I'll talk about the book now. Yes, excellent. And also what you know, what I'm I've been doing. So this is with you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. So uh, you know, <laughs> uh, many of you uh, must be thinking, you know, when somebody writes, yeah. When somebody writes a book, you know, he's an author or, uh, so I'm not an author by that uh, qualification. I uh, used to write a lot of blogs uh, and then those blogs became form of a book. M many of my uh, relatives who are old, they don't read blogs. So they, want, they requested me why can't I convert it into a form of a book. So this book is all about what I learned over the last uh, 10 years. And you know, I put it in form of a, a blog, and that combined together. So uh, many of you, when you read it, request is not to read it whole book in a day. You know, you can read a couple of chapters, uh, maximum two or three in a day, and then give yourself time because the purpose of this book is it will help you to ask question to yourself. So when if you read it whole book, then you will have so many questions coming to you. <laughs> so you 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 will get lost. So you know it, the, uh, it it does not have any answers. It has many questions, and those questions will lead to your answers, which you know Yost was explaining to you uh, how to find your own answers for bliss and happiness. Just to share, you know, uh, Yost uh, shared a little bit about how we met. But let me give you a background before we met. Uh, I started this journey. I called. Uh, in 2007, when I found myself, I say that, uh, and I called, I set up a company called Atma Chetna. Atma Chetna in Hindi uh, or Sanskrit means self awakening. So uh, that happened for me in in uh, year 2007. I was working in a corporate sector in an American company, and that, uh, unlike you, you know, he is a more research guy. Uh, you know, he has gone deeper into that. I am not. I am an engineer. And I am also an MBA, uh, was working in corporate, uh, doing work, you know, running around and all that. I was in consulting and one day I was sitting in a quiet place, you know, as uh, you have this kind of, uh, you know, place where you can sit nicely and quietly and asking what is the purpose of my life. And then I found that I need to work for others, you know, do some something for others to bring happiness to them or do something good for them. And that's what I, you know, I started doing. And uh, 2007, when I set it up, I was not clear what I want to do. Uh, anyone of you have traveled to India uh, sometime? Yeah. You have? Okay. Yes. You have. Okay. So you have seen it's a large country with a very large population. Soon it will become the largest population in the world. Uh, and in India, uh, I, I don't know many of you know that uh, it has the highest teenage suicide in the world. Uh, I, I don't know whether you uh, know that, but uh, that was you know a couple of news articles I used to read in newspaper, and I said no child want to commit suicide. So if child doesn't want to commit suicide, then what is the reason? So I got into this journey and started working with children, with parents, and with people. And over the years, I learned uh, uh, you know last ten years. Uh, how many of you believe in magic? You know, magic in your life. You uh, can you share an example of any magic happened to you? Um, yeah.